Again, we are focusing on chemical reactions. On this reaction, you are taking a zinc. This is a strip of zinc metal. This is zinc metal. You place it in a solution of hydrochloric acid. Immediately, you are going to see formation of bubbles. The bubbles, you can identify that the bubbles, if we identify them, they're hydrogen gas. Eventually, the zinc metal, zinc strip is going to dissolve. And you will, if you investigate, you'll see zinc is converted to zinc chloride. And you are going to see, you're going to observe this reaction. I think this week's experiment, you'll see it on PLP, these experiments. And then based on what you observe, you're supposed to be able to come up with a chemical equation. So what is the chemical equation? In this case, you say, do you see this is a solid? This is a piece of metal, so you write zinc, solid zinc, reacted with what? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. You don't see cloudiness in HCl, it's clear, right? That means this is a solution of hydrochloric acid in water, so that's why you write aqueous. And then, based on the studies which is done, you see the product is zinc chloride. You also say, oops, 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 stop share. How did it go here? Let's say share screen again. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> Guys, can I say, <coughs> excuse me, zinc is made out of atoms of zinc. Sorry, it's jumping again. Zinc is made out of atom of zinc. It's an element. It doesn't have a part that it hasn't made a bond with any other atom. So this is atomic zinc. We call this single. Well, if you haven't made a bond with anybody, bond of marriage, bond of uh, partnership, then you're single. And then when you look at HCl, do you see there are two different atoms, hydrogen and chlorine bonded together? They have a bond. So this is not a single compound. This is a binary compound made out of two different atoms. And then you look at the product based on what experimental fact shows that zinc is becoming partnered with chlorine. So do you see how zinc is replacing hydrogen and becoming a partner with chlorine? And hydrogen, which used to be bonded with chlorine is now single. So it's one single replacing the binary compound, one of the component of the bonds and making that single. So it's called single replacement. This is one of the method that you can predict product of a chemical reaction. What is prediction based one more time? How do you look at an experiment based on observation? You can write a chemical equation. That's what we are trying to learn in this part of our chapter. How do you observe and write an equation? Well, whenever you have a single compound, reacting with the binary and you see evidence of reaction. What are evidence of reaction here? Formation of bubble. 
Evidence of reaction could be formation of bubbles. It could be change of color. It would be formation of solid, which we call it precipitate. So we need, or sometimes you see change of heat. These are evidences, observable evidences that there is a chemical reaction. Not every single compound reacts to the binary compound, but if we did it in the lab, we observe signals which tells us there is a chemical reaction, you can write a formula product. How? If you react a single element with a binary compound, there is going to be single replacement. That means the single is going to replace one of the atoms in binary compound and that atom which is replaced is going to be free. And again, equation must agree with the observation. How do we know hydrogen is replaced? Because see, hydrogen is coming off. Hydrogen is not partnered with Cl anymore. It's coming off. So it's the hydrogen which is replaced by zinc. And then you must make sure you balance the equation. That means same number of atoms on both sides. You may say if zinc re replaces hydrogen, how come it doesn't make zinc Cl? Why is it zinc Cl2? Well, do you remember we said when you write an ionic compound, the charges must add up to be zero. Zinc always has plus two charge. Chlorine has minus one charge they do not add to be zero. If you add these two together, they are not going to be zero. And how do we write formula for ionic compound? You write their charges, minus one, plus two, so you can draw. That means absolute value of minus one is one, you need only one thing. Absolute value of plus two is two. You need two chlorides, so zinc, one, Cl2, that is the correct formula. So when you do single replacement, you must make sure the formula of products follow the rules of ionic compound. Charges must add up to be zero, which is the case here. Why zinc is plus two, two chlorine, each chlorine minus one, they add up to be zero. 